Today I'm with the legendary Dr. Bill Ormston. He is a animal chiropractor. He has been one of the first pioneers who came up with the whole system behind animal chiropractic for 30 years. And he's built a school, Animal Chiropractic Education Source. It's one of America's largest animal chiropractic training programs. He has been using chi coils and he's going to share with us what kind of amazing things have been happening with them. Welcome, Dr. O. How are you? Doing great. Uh, thank you for having me tonight. I just want to start that we, uh, my, my wife, Dr. Amy, actually listened to your story. And that was why we got interested in the Chi Coil. Works similar to some other machines out there. But the big difference is that the programmability and the wide variety of, of specificity that we can get into with, with the coil to help animals and their individual problems, not just, you know, for one or two things, not just for like arthritis, like normally what we think about for using PEMF devices for. So let's backtrack a little bit. How did you get started in, you know, caring for animals and how you started your school? I was going to be a veterinarian since I was five or six years old. So we have 22 turkeys. We have 100 chickens, 11 horses, and five dogs. And then my oldest son developed a seizure disorder and wasn't getting any results with traditional medication. So I started looking for alternative therapies. And that's one of the reasons that we looked at the cheek oil. It's an amazing way to help the nervous system function better. Can you share with us some specific things that happened when you use cheek oils? We got rid of fleas. That was a big one because, you know, the only way to really truly get rid of fleas is neurotoxins. There is a frequency that will kill fleas. Royal Rife de determined way back in the 30s was that there were frequencies that killed the bacteria and killed viruses and killed cancer cells and killed parasites. And so I happened to, was reading the book and I thought, oh, the flea frequency. So we put that in and within two days, we didn't have any fleas in the room that we had the coils in. Now we have another dog that doesn't sleep in that room and she had fleas. So we put the coil by her crate that night and in two days, no fleas. Wow. Now, the one that was the biggest surprise for me was we have a, a dog that comes in that got hit by a truck about a year and a half ago, was paralyzed. Now is starting to stand and, and move a little bit but is very grumpy, very angry, which, I mean, you can probably understand why you might be angry. And so the last time that the dog was in, I set the coil for calming and anger reduction. And the, the owner was like, my dog's not angry. I said, yeah. She goes, okay, all right. So she went out and um, played that for five minutes just sat in the car with it on calming and anger reduction. And then she came in and she always puts a muzzle on before she brings him in. And it took her about one minute to put the muzzle on instead of about five. And he never grumbled or growled or anything the whole time that we were working on him that day. It's amazing. If you're a veterinarian out there and you're a free, fear-free clinic, um, the cheek coil would work amazingly well, um, a lot better than gabapentin or some of the drugs that, you know, are typically used to reduce the anxiety in your patients before you treat them. The cheek coil has no side effects. Like with homeopathic remedies, like in chronic conditions, we like to remove negative energy first, which might take a couple days, but depending on how bad your pet has it, you know, and how seriously they're affected. But if you remove that first, then that's definitely, you're not wasting anybody's time. You're, you're helping them to heal better. And, and you can use like at night, we actually have um, two coils going in our bedroom at night. If they're far enough apart, 
we have the dog's coil on one side of the bedroom and we have our coil <laughs> by our bed and our co coil is of course doing the abundancy and all those things and and theirs is for parasites and itching and you know all the doggy things right all right so so you've had a lot of success with fleas without using any drugs or pills or collars that are neurotoxic you're saying that we may have found one of the only ways to have no side effects right you bet yeah. and then um we can use it for we use it for arthritis on some of our older dogs i, I have an 18 year old great dane that comes in yeah that's ancient He's been coming in for four years. He comes in every two weeks and we adjust him. And his owner says, man, here, we started playing the, the um, cheek coil just for, you know, like about 10 minutes when he visits. We let him sit with that coil next to him and um, definitely says the adjustments are lasting longer. He's not on any arthritis medicine. He's not on any drugs. I do recommend if they're eating kibble, um, you make sure you have plenty of water available all the time because they will drink more. Yes. Because what's going to happen is when you play the coils, especially the calming one, one of the things that happens with a kibble diet is that every bite of dog food causes inflammation in their gut. But what the calming will do and what the anti-inflammatory ones will do will help calm that inflammation down and will make it and their stomach doesn't hurt so much. I noticed that, well, uh, I get thirsty when I'm using coils. Yeah. Um, that might happen with the, with the pets as well. It's just because it's boosting your metabolism and you might get thirsty. Right. Yeah. yeah. And I noticed that if I eat bad food when I use the coil, I get a lot thirstier than if I'm eating healthy food. <laughs> We've had some farrier issues with our horses and we're using it for sore feet, you know, after a bad foot trim too short of a foot trim or or a wrong angle foot trim and they get sore we play that let them do that to help with their sore feet we've we've used it um, for skin problems we've used it for uh some healing increased healing you know what? it's like a laceration or a cut or something like that you can just instead of a bandage we've had some wounds that are questionable whether they need stitches but with the cheek oil, it seems like it uh, goes a lot quicker. I'm not going to say it's like, oh, it's gone tomorrow. But even with stitches, it wouldn't be gone tomorrow. It'd be, you know, seven to 10 days. So we're How much getting faster. Would you say the, the healing happens? I'd say it heals almost as fast and with as little scar tissue as if we had sewn it up. Without sewing it up. Without sewing it up. Yes. So like and so that. That saves a lot of, well, we don't have to sedate the animal. We don't have to, you know, drug the, and then worry about them tearing the stitches out. Because usually when you stitch a, like a horse or a dog, they're going to be licking at the stitches because they itch. And, and so. So, so how know. much faster is that? Let's say compared to not stitching at all. And just oh, not, probably twice as fast with not stitching. Yeah. yeah. I use the rife frequencies a lot for diagnosed issues. So if I know something, I'll use the right frequency. And, and one of the reasons I do that is because it's the specificity. So Dr. O actually, he's uh, created uh, some protocols specifically with cheek oils. He's created ones for dogs, cats, and horses. So these are some of the first pet specific or animal specific frequency protocols that ever created. So thanks to Dr. O, now we have them. So this is the site we have. It's called chicoilpets.com, and it's going to go to this page. So here it says, Chico Pets, no pills, no surgery. Extend your pet's life naturally with just frequencies. So there's a dog page, there's a cat's page, and an animal's page. So if you go to dogs, for example, there's a video that explains like how this all works. And in the middle of the page, you're going to see a list of protocols, right? So for example, for dogs, there's a, there's quick protocols, which are around mm -hmm. 20, 10 minutes or so, right? Yeah. Uh, and then the extended protocols, which is a lot longer, 20 to 30 minutes, right? So depending on which it's, one you choose, you choose. Some of the extended protocols might even go a couple hours. Okay. Might like they're, they're for overnight mainly, turn them on and yeah. Right. So, so for example, you know, we've, we've compiled or, or we've, we've created the most uh, common 
problems that dogs have, like ear infection, itchy skin, diarrhea, arthritis, inflammation, urinary tract infections, heart problems, lack of appetite, mouth issues, hot spots, and lameness. So we have a uh, protocols for that. For extended ones, we have the same, like ear infection, itchy, diarrhea, parasites, gastro gastrointestinal problems, arthritis, inflammation, vaccine reactions, obesity, heart problems, recovery from surgery, lack of appetite, mouth issues, hot spots, lameness, cancer. So that's for dogs. And then if you go to the cats page, they have uh, another set that are specific for cats. And then for, for animals, which are for larger animals like horses and you know uh, cattle or pigs, we have a whole completely different set for those as well. So I just want to share that. And that's mm -hmm. uh, chicallpets.com. How do you think this will revolutionize how animals are cared for? Let's, let's talk about horses or and cattle since we're in this topic. How does it revolutionize that? Well, let fewer drugs and also to decrease stress hormone in the animals, you know, um, even just, you know, on the day of harvest or the day of processing, um, you could decrease stress hormones. And then there was one about ear mites, I think. I would use the, the um, parasites to start with. And I do believe there is a right frequency for mites. The other one that I use a lot is inflammation. And we do a lot of uh, inflammation. There's the almost no feeling of unease or feeling of disease or sickness is always accompanied with the five cardinal signs of inflammation. And so if you use the frequencies to combat inflammation, you can't go wrong. But the five cardinal signs of inflammation are swelling, heat, redness, pain, and loss of function. And think of any sickness that doesn't have at least one of those things. And so if that's your go-to, a lot of times while I'm trying to figure out what's going on with an animal, we'll just put the inflammation on. And, and that's a good starting point, no matter what. So if you have, if you're working on your own animal at home, or if an animal's come into your clinic and you, you know, while you're waiting for the blood work, while you're waiting for the test results, just play inflammation. And, you know, even if it doesn't get all the way through the, the whole process, you're going to have some of it. And so that's going to help. So how do you think this is going to help somebody, let's say they're not a veterinarian, they just have, you know, their own pet, their own dog, cat, horse, or animals. Uh, how would it help uh, an average person? Well, like I said, there's no, almost no problem. If so, if all, all you used it for was inflammation. If your animal was a little sick and you played it for three days and they're going to be getting better after you play it, great. Then after three days, if they're still not great, then you go to the vet. But it saves a lot of trips to the veterinarian. I would use the vaccine reaction one. You know, there's a lot of places where vaccines are supposedly mandatory, or there's a lot of veterinarians that say, oh, you can't bring your animal in to see me if it's not vaccinated. Even if your animal has never had an obvious reaction to vaccines, I would still play that every time you go get a vaccination. Um, and that's, you know, chronic vaccination is one of the things that really is, a, is an issue. You know, dogs, as they get older, we start to see that they have arthritis. They're starting to get more chronic problems. And it's because of some of the stuff that we've done historically that may not have been healthy for them. How often would you want to play the frequencies? Uh, I would play a numerous amount of frequencies, but I would never worry about playing the frequencies too often. Have you had any success with cancer in pets? There's historically has been some help with cancer with pets. Yes. And I think it, I know it's helped some people and dogs. So how, how do you think it can uh, assist or improve a, a vet's pack practice? When I look at uh, tools in the practice, I want to know what percentage of animals that come into my practice could I use it on, all right? If I buy a new x-ray machine, which is going to cost about 10 to 15 times what a, a coil would cost, probably only 1% to 2% of the animals that come into my practice need an x-ray or would benefit from an x-ray. If I buy a blood machine, now I can probably 
talk half the owners into doing blood work and and convince myself that it was necessary okay but the coil if i have a coil in my practice there's not an animal that walks in my door that won't benefit from five to ten minutes with the frequencies being played even in the waiting room um if you just had a coil in the waiting room that you could you know just had the calming because the frequencies work on all animals and so in my waiting room there's not only the animals that i can treat there's the animals that are two-legged that are outside of my scope the humans <laughs> the humans yes but by playing the calming frequencies in the waiting room you know because let's face it nobody's favorite thing to do on a sunny day is to go to the vet and wait in the office wait in the waiting room with your dog that's not healthy right and it's having an issue can they use it on me well i'm a veterinarian and i can't tell you however you have access to a lot of frequencies this is the one you need for your pet if you want to look at some of the other frequencies and try them while you have the the unit rented i don't i can't stop you from doing that mm -hmm. and so and and we all know everybody that's on this here has tried the coil at least once probably and how can you not just say okay well this is the thing i'm going to keep and keep doing it and over and over so the vets can not only help their clients humans and you know the the animals it can create a new a new income stream through renting out or or selling the chi coils to to the to the clients right both yes start with the lease and then you can go from there, you know, and rent them, you know, and we rent them for a week because that's usually, you know, you want probably want most most issues um, will respond better after five or six, you know, days with the frequency rather than I mean, there's some issues that definitely respond well to one like the calming. All right. But if we're working with a kidney issue or a GI tract problem or, you know, hearing the frequencies over several days is going to help more than just the one-time deal in the office. We usually rent it for a week, um, which a good time to recheck most of these pets with issues is in a week anyway. And, and so then they'll come back and they'll bring the coil back. And then at that time, I usually will make sure they know my um, affiliate code or my affiliate link. <laughs> and, you know, when they bring that back, we say we give them a little piece of paper that says, hey, thank you for um, using the coil. Here's the feedback and tear this thing off if you would like to get your own coil. Hmm. That's great. That's so what kind of successes have you seen people have who, who have taken and, and leased the coil, like the, the people who took, took them home? They're all, they're all like, you know, oh, we want to get one. We want to get one. And now some of them have to budget it. And so, you know, it's, we're, we're going to wait a, a month and I tell them to get the, to start with the mini, you know, and, and, and most of them then, and then they're like, well, but I was looking at the three S, but I will start with the one that you can afford. And then maybe upgrade. after a certain time, yeah, you can upgrade. You bet. I think the coil is just something, I mean, we're writing right now to get our aura coil because we're going to put it in our classroom. Yeah. yeah. Like we have a lot of test anxiety in our classroom. We'll have students come in and they've been studying, but then they have to take a closed book exam. And that's the moment of panic. And so we, we're going to try that a couple of times and see once we get the oral coil in here. The oral coil, I think, and, and one of the things that we're, we're looking at with some of the organic farmers here is being able to make it uh, more portable waterproof system we do take it to the cow barn for calving portable you know for the farms for yeah for organic farms for food animals yeah so like you know rick hall was saying to the for in the calving barns it would work great it would and and i'm thinking that if you had that in your calving barn and but it was you, you know it's going to get a little dirty and right now you don't want to take the hose to your oracle because it probably wouldn't. We can we can work on making it water waterproof and portable. yeah yeah I think we that shouldn't be too difficult. How do you think this compares to like the PF, PMF mats 
you know, how the horses have those, like the loops, how do you think horse compared oh, to, to those? I think it's about a thousand times better. I, I don't even think it compares. So the mats, you have to be on the mat in order for it to work. And they're most mainly pulse at two frequencies that you can choose from. So there's only two frequencies, not 10,000 frequencies. Okay. And then the coils, they have to go over the area that's involved. So they work really good for musculoskeletal issues, kind of. But we could, you know, let's say that you had a, 3,000 foot barn, you put the aura coil in it, you could program it for musculoskeletal problems for horse one. You could have a horse two that had some skin issues. You could have horse three that had, oh, some needed some calming. And then they run through the frequencies all night long. Right. I and mean, you only need one device. Yeah. One or, device. For the whole barn. For the whole barn. Somebody asked about laser. How does it compare to laser therapy? So it depends on which laser you're using. We know that 10 joules of laser therapy damages DNA. And so if you're using a high wattage laser, um, you can get side effects from the laser. If you're using a low wattage, then the side effects, you won't have any side effects unless you hold it forever. We're limiting what we can use the laser on. With the coil, we have, there's over 10,000 frequencies in there. And if you know the frequency, if you find a frequency somewhere that's not in the protocol, you can add it. So it's unlimited. I'd say there's more than 10,000 frequencies even. Do you think, do you think animals are more sensitive to these frequencies than humans generally are? I think that if we as humans can get rid of all our stuff, okay, then we're going to be as sensitive as the animals. But but the animals um, don't come with a lot of stuff like we do. Like mental blocks, you mean? Yeah, mental blocks or just external stuff, stimulation. And, and we're bad as humans about, oh, look, oh, another shiny object wow. or... I can't listen to my frequencies right now because I have to watch the news or I have to watch my TV show or so I could put the coil on, but I can't have the sound on and, and, you know, yeah, squirrel. Yes. Monkey. Mind. So yeah. yes, we have a tendency to get distracted easily. So yes, but yeah, I do. And the horses, they seem like they can fall asleep standing up. So that's okay. I just think that my biggest thing is I, I look at some of the technology that we call new technology, um, like homeopathic remedies, like the right frequencies, like chiropractic in animals, and even why chiropractic in humans isn't very big. And, and we wonder why. And when we look at history, and we're not going to get into it all right now, but look at the American Medical Association and what they did in the early 1900s and how Rockefeller and Carnegie got into it and said, go big drugs, go big farm. And a lot of the frequencies, a lot of the homeopathic remedies, a lot of the stuff that is bad science or disinformation, we call it now, used to be equal and, and, and even and until big money got into it. And then once big money got into it, you were either drugs or no drugs. Yeah, everything disappeared. What sets the coil uh, apart from other frequencies is that the distance it treats and the specificity you can put up to, you know, unlimited number of frequencies in it. That's what I see the di biggest difference are is the distance. So for horses, you can treat more than one horse at once. And Rick asked a question. So bird flu in cattle, and then in people is, yeah, one of those deals. And if you want to look at the history of that one, do Google, when did the bird flu vaccine for people get patented? And it was recently, um, as recent as probably six months prior to the first bird flu outbreak in cattle. We actually have several researchers uh, with our coils doing uh, different clinical studies. We're doing one coming up 
for uh, longevity and epigenetics. Reduce uh, biological age in humans. So we, we measure the actual stem cell, I mean, the, the telomeres in the, in the genes before and after. So that's exciting. Now, um, the, the right frequencies, the 10,000 are included with the system from mini and higher. So you don't need to buy those, those are, those are included. But if you want to get additional ones like the pet protocols, you can use that towards the pet protocols. Yeah, and all the pet protocols have a combination of quantum and right frequencies. So yeah, they're a little bit higher tiered than just the regular right frequencies. One of the differences between the coil, the chi coil, and the other frequencies are the addition of the quantum frequencies. Okay, which vibrates in two dimensions or three dimensions instead of just the one frequency. And so it helps with the resonance frequencies. David can probably explain that better. But I do know that we see, like my my code laser, we use the Avant code laser, which is programmable. So I can put all 10,000 right frequencies into it. Okay. And I've noticed that I get a, a that when I use a frequency like three minutes of cold laser, yes, it works. However, when I do three minutes of three to five minutes of the same frequency with the coil, it lasts longer, probably three to five times as long. The effects last longer. Yes. Yeah. And like the Asini loop, the, the loops, the MagnaWave loops, they don't cover the whole body. They cover whatever area you've got in the loop that's one of the biggest differences i see with the coil is that i can treat 10 animals at the same time yeah amazing well it, i'm very glad that uh, you've had so much success with the coils and looking forward to see more amazing st stories from you and helping veterinarians and pet lovers and and lots of animals. So thank you so much for your time, Dr. O. If you want to reach Dr. Ormston, go to yeschiro.com. Yeschiro.com. If you, you want to learn more about his school, ACES, the Animal Chiropractic Education Source. So thank you very much. And make sure you go check out qcoilpets.com. That's qicoilpets.com to learn more how you can benefit your your pet's life and extend their life without any pills, without any drugs or surgery. Yes. Thank you so much, David. Appreciate it tonight. Thank you. Have a good night.